she bad But what's new? Maybe the baddest I want you, girl I gotta have it What it do, girl? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be more consistent, you know. And I'm coming to you guys with lit videos. But in today's video, it's going to be a little serious. I'm going to be giving you guys some advice on self-love. But before I get into this video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Period. So, I'm a little sick, guys. So, if I sound parched or just sick, it's because I'm sick. But... I just wanted to give you guys some like self-love tips or advice that I could give you that has helped me like lean towards like a path of self-growth and self-love and putting myself first and all of that stuff helps overcome anxiety and depression once you just start like putting yourself first and learning to like not surround yourself with negativity, cut out stuff that is negative in your life whether it be things you watch, people. So first things first what you consume is what you'll become so as far as like what you watch what you say to yourself and stuff like that um when i was younger i didn't think that like the things that i would say to myself like oh i'm stupid or i'm dumb or i don't look cute today i don't think like, really, when you say those things to yourself, like, maybe your brain doesn't know the difference between an illusion and reality of who says what to you. So I think, like, when you say things like that to yourself, you start to become that. And when you start watching certain things like entertainment or TV shows or stuff that isn't, like, as uplifting or even music that you listen to, people you surround yourself by, what you hear in general, if it's not positive, then I feel like that manifests some negativity in yourself and then it instills like low self-esteem and I never really paid attention to what I said to myself like positive self-talk one is very important so what I would do in order to I guess build on positive self-talk I would set like a positive affirmation as my lock screen and I repeat it to myself every morning I e I'm even doing that now for like my 2020 goal um, for January, I repeat, like, I am beautiful every morning, or I am smart, I am in love with who I am today, or something good will happen tomorrow, or something like that, because that stuff really contributes to what you think about yourself in general, and, like, once you start to practice that, it'll just become, like, a habit, like, you'll just always think highly of yourself. Number two, what you watch, so I will watch a lot of, like, when I was younger, it would probably be Bad Girls Club or, like, Love and Hip Hop. Um, just keeping up with the drama on Instagram between, like, just people on social media, celebrities, whatever the case may be. People I know in my neighborhood may be fighting, beefing, or she said this to this person. None of my business. But I would feed onto that negativity and then devote so much of myself to that when I could be putting that energy into manifesting something positive for myself so that's definitely something that you should cut out no one's perfect so you know you might still want to watch love and hip-hop or something like that but for the most part what you watch should, should be something that's teaching you something research or documentaries or something like on the so side you are what you eat so if you aren't eating right and you're not loving your insides and what you're putting inside of your body, how can you manifest positive thoughts? How can you think highly of yourself? How can you give someone else advice or know your value as a person when you aren't even taking care of your physical health? And then, you know, your physical health connects to your mental health. So if you aren't eating right, then mentally your brain and all of that stuff won't be right either. So I would say, you know, pay attention to what you eat. If you aren't eating healthy, then you should start eating healthy. Um, I won't say necessarily cut out everything bad that you're eating, but for the most part, you should be eating fruits and vegetables. You should take vitamins. You should drink lots of water because stuff like that is very important. When it comes to self-love, it's also knowing how to manage your peace of mind and how to keep intact with like your peace of mind and put that as your number one priority you know we get caught up in just trying to be there for people trying to help other people that we're so drained and we pour from an empty cup we don't even have peace of mind that we can fall back on or have a comfort mentally that can be there for us so when you're stressing stuff you can just 
lean back on your own peace of mind and just be at peace. And I think meditation is really, really, really important. I think so many people don't know how to meditate, so they don't do it or they don't think it works. But me, I like had a whole year where I was going through really bad anxiety and I would meditate every morning, 10 minutes every morning. It just helped me have more control over my thoughts, one. It helped me be more connected to my spiritual being. And I think God is very important in helping you lean towards a path of self-love because it's not easy and sometimes you know you'll cry sometimes you'll have days where you want to give up you know but at the end of the day once you start that practice of self-care and self-love and you start pampering yourself watching what you eat watching what you watch physically watching what you say to yourself watching the people around you people who don't encourage you all that stuff, as soon as you start paying attention to that and cutting certain people off, it hurts really bad in the moment. But as weeks go on and then months go on, you start to feel so good in the inside and so good about yourself and you have this peace of mind that's just there. Once you build yourself up, then you can take care of others. If you don't you can't really take care of anybody until you take care of yourself. No one will really know how to love you until you love yourself first. The way that you love yourself is the way that you teach other people to love you. One thing that is very important that I don't think people pay attention to is how much you pour into other people with how much you have to pour. And so I used to do more for people and love people more than I would love myself. And then I would just be left hanging with nothing, you know, no comfort, no peace, no just nothing because you know when you're giving all your love out and you're not giving it to yourself and no one's loving you back as much as you love them you're just like drained and so i think it's very important to know that being selfish is okay make sure that you have room for yourself and taking care of yourself and loving yourself first so that when some uh, you break up or the friend turns out to be fake and they just you cut them off you still have this self-love to fall back on that you have that hurt from that heartbreak or you have that pain from that friend that's not a good friend anymore or your mom getting on your nerves and she's not being good to you you're good to yourself and so you'll be good in the end because at the end of the day like you're not all you got but you all you got to a certain extent and to know for sure if people are on your side or not you have to love yourself first and like I said, loving yourself is painting your toes. Loving yourself is smiling at yourself in the mirror, telling yourself you're beautiful, reading a book, eating fruits and vegetables, drinking water, watching a positive TV show, you know, going for a walk, detoxing, deleting Instagram. It's all those things. And once you start to do that, and I did that most of 2019, and it has really helped me know who I am as a person, you know, and I'll just say self-love is very important. I'm a huge advocate for self-love. And I hope these tips really help you. Um, you can set a positive affirmation as your screensaver and repeat it to yourself every morning. You can, if you're in a relationship, you know, write out the good and bad of that person. And how you're, how is that person contributing positively to your life? If the good were always the bad you're good. If the bad always is good, break up with them. If you have a friend that isn't pouring positivity into your life, cut them off. If you have a family member that isn't contributing positivity to your life, fall back. Those are the things you have to do in order to fully become the best person that you can be and to really gain the confidence and just all the positive things that will help you be the best version of yourself. It starts with you and what you allow in your circle, in your space. If you're manifesting a positive space, you have to have like-minded people beside you. You can't have people that's tearing you down. And it's hard. Like, it's really hard to cut out people specifically. That's really hard. But you have to do what you have to do for yourself. And... It gets better, you know. You'll have days when you're anxious. You'll have days when you're depressed. Low self-esteem. You don't feel beautiful. You don't feel, you know, the most positive. You don't want to get out of bed. And it's okay. Those are human traits. It's okay to feel that way. 
but you can't let yourself stay there. You have to learn that you are valued just because you are you. Like you're you have so much value just for being who you are. And then everything else just adds on top of that. But in order to realize that and to see that, you have to start doing the things that you do for other people if you're doing more for others than yourself. You got to start doing that for yourself. And I promise you, you'll start to prosper. Or just try it. Try it for a week. A week will lead to three weeks. And those weeks will lead to two months. Two months, five months, five months, on, so on and so forth. A year. A year of self-care. You know? You have to learn not to sit in your comfort and toxic comfort. And allow yourself to be by yourself and realize who you are, what you need to do in order to be the best person you can be. And start taking those steps in order to do that for yourself first. So others can see it. Oh, this is how she this is how she takes care of herself. Now I know how to take care of her. You know? Um, not only for women, for guys too. It goes the same for guys. You know, I'm a woman, so I'm saying, you know, girl this, girl that, whatever. But same for guys, you know? That woman isn't treating you right. Do you know how many people are in this world? I know this is a long video, but I really hope that this advice helps you guys. You know, I was jumping from here to there, but I'm pretty sure y'all get the overall point that I'm trying to make. You know, you are valued as a person. You have so much value just for existing and being the person that you are. And I hope this video really helps people. You know, I'm not perfect. I have days where I don't love myself the best, but I know my worth as a person. So, don't forget to smash the like button. I love you guys so much, and I'll see y'all in my next video.